Good day, everyone. I'm Kristen Dahlgren in New York, and we are coming on the air at this hour with news of a school shooting in South Florida. This is at least 14 dead, 50 injured. Uh, a lot of those injuries are severe after a lone gunman opens fire in a theater outside of Denver, Colorado. There's Sandy Hook, Newtown, Connecticut. 26 babies and teachers slaughtered by a deranged gunman. Everyone said hit the floor, so everyone was just like literally laying on top of each other, trying to get out of the way, and the shots just kept coming. We're gonna have to come together and take meaningful action to prevent more tragedies like this, regardless of the politics. Gun control in America is a very sensitive topic right now and has been for quite some time. It has sparked many debates from all ends of the spectrum as to what extent it should be enforced. I strongly emphasize that everything in this video will be unbiased facts. Our goal is to present you, the viewer, with all the facts so that you can make your own opinion on the matter. From a high school in Columbine, Colorado, to an elementary school in Sandy Hook, Connecticut, to a nightclub in Orlando, Florida, and to a military post in Killeen, Texas. Mass shootings in the United States is a recurring catastrophe. Over 1,000 people have died, spanning from nearly every race, religion, and socioeconomic background. Their ages range from newborn to elderly. Family, friends, classmates, colleagues, all losing their lives in a country that is meant to be safe. A country where life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness is our motto. Something has to be done. Backed heavily by the National Rifle Association, many pro-gun activists believe that taking their weapons away is a violation of their Second Amendment rights, which states, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This amendment is often interpreted subjectively. Many pro-gun activists believe that it is the right for any United States citizen to carry a gun legally. While on the other hand, people point out that the Constitution does mention a well-regulated militia, which does not apply to the average American. President Trump, the NRA, and many others believe that the shooter's mental health is the key culprit of these crimes. According to psychiatry.org, the overall contribution of people with serious mental health issues to violent crimes is 1%, which leaves many people pointing the fingers to the guns themselves. With harsher and stricter laws to acquiring firearms, and some even proposing the banning of guns as a whole in the country, they believe it will reduce mass shootings and casualties significantly. The tough issue is that there are more guns in this country than there are people. As of June 2016, 36% of Americans own guns, many of them using it for hunting in rural areas, target practice, and for protection in places where police presence is not on par. There are also simply many people who like owning guns a lot of these owners feel it is not fair for them to be associated with these killers. The AR-15 assault rifle has been the weapon of choice in a lot of these mass shootings, as well as the usage of bump stocks, which rapidly fires more bullets than your typical semi-auto. Gun control activists argue that owning and using an AR-15 with bump stocks is outrageous and completely unnecessary considering it's very close to the U.S. military's M41. No matter what your view on the matter is, something the vast majority of Americans agree on is something must be done. Whether that be more extensive background checks, raising the age requirements for purchasing firearms, or the banning of guns as a whole. Instead of us arguing and fighting, let us unite. Let us mourn and honor those we have lost. Let us think constructively. Let us be empathetic and love one another.